Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at interactive legends with Bokeh. Let's get started. So first off, let's go on and create up a new file. And let's call this uh, something like uh, Bokeh Interactive uh, Legends .py. And we're going to go on and get our basic imports. So today we're going to be using uh, some pandas. So let's get that first import pandas as PD. Then we're going to grab stuff from bokeh from bokeh dot uh, plotting. We're going to import in here figure and show. Then we're also going to go from bokeh dot palettes. Uh, let's import, um, let's see, spectral four. Uh, and then we also are going to grab some sample data from a bokeh dot sample data. We're going to uh, dot stocks we're going to import in here um, Apple Google IBM and uh, Microsoft so let's go on and make up a basic figure here and we'll do our plot uh, width in here is going to be 800 uh, plot height here let's be 250 um, X axis uh, type here is going to be a date time since we are doing some time series and then let's go on and uh, add in a title in here um, and let's do something like um, um, stock time series Stock, or let's just say stock plot for now. Uh, and then let's go on and uh, do a little bit of um, zipping, okay? Because we want to make up a little bit of a data, a new data set. So for data name uh, color in, and we're going to zip this, and we want our Apple stock, we want our Google stock, we want our IBM stock, and we want our Microsoft stock as a list and then we're going to also grab um, and notice these are this is this is the data itself okay make sure this is the data okay um, and so we're also going to um, add in here um, the names okay and so I'm going to actually put this in quotes so and make sure whenever you are doing this that they are actually in the proper the proper order in here and so again we have four stocks here so and then we're going to actually use that uh, spectral four uh, and so again if you wanted for example you wanted um, different um, a, um, a different number so you had maybe more than four stocks you could always go in here and grab something like Spectral look here is 10, 11, and you can grab some of the others as well that have more, um, just so that you guys can, um, I guess, kind of play around with it if you want. So the next thing that we're going to do in here is actually create up um, a data frame. So first off, um, our data frame itself is going to be PD dot data frame of our data. Then we also want in here, um, we need to create the date in here and that's going to be pd dot uh, to date time in here and that is going to be df date and then let's also do um, the last thing that we want to do in here is actually create up line charts for each of these uh, pieces of data so we'll do something like p dot line df date and then we'll do something like df close. Um, and so what this will be doing is again, we're looping over each of the data files, okay? Um, so then the first plot will be Apple, then Google, then IBM, then Microsoft, and it's doing each of these for each df. So each data frame we're doing in each uh, stock um, in and of itself, we'll be doing the closing data for each of those stocks. Uh, so let's say uh, line width here is going to be two, uh, color will be color 
Uh, alpha in here um, is going to be 0 0.8. Uh, legend label here is actually going to be name. Uh, and then that's going to be it for the first uh, couple pieces in there. Okay, so this is actually just creating up our basic um, our basic plot in here. Um, now we also want to go on and do something like p.legend.location uh, here. And we want to put this, um, you know what, let's, let me uh, do show p and let's run this really quickly. Oops. And so we can see here that we do have all of our plots. Okay, so um, notice here that this this um, is actually in the way. Okay, when we're wanting to plot this, so let's move um, move this over maybe up here uh, to the top left, uh, and let's see if there's anything else that we kind of uh, want to do. We can actually give some. Well, you'll you'll see here. We're gonna add in some ability to change and interact with the graph. Um, by clicking on the legend. So we'll grab some of their policies. So first we want to move the legend to the upper left. So p.legend.location here and we'll do a uh, top left. Um, and then the next thing we want to do is p.legend. Um, click policy here and we're going to do hide. So this is actually going to um, hide um, the uh, the data, okay? Um, and so let's let's actually change up maybe change up the name of this uh, and say something like click on the uh, legend to hide uh, the lines stock plot. Um, and so that again it gives them just some information on what's going to happen. So let's rerun this. Okay, so now we see that we moved the legend over here to the uh, top left. So then it's very nice in there. And if you notice now, now when we hover over this, we have this little hand tool in here, right? So we can now go through and click and it will hide the stock. Okay. So again, we can go through in here and we can actually completely hide them out. Um, maybe a cool interaction that we'd maybe want to do later on is that it would resize everything um, once we got rid of something like that. But it's again, this is this is a fairly nice interaction. So if you want to focus on a specific stock, you can actually turn them all off. It's like, oh, look, here's our Google stock. That's a ovulating trend here. Um, and then we can compare it to our Apple stock, which is uh, relatively the same or whatnot. Um, one other thing that we'll do is let's go on and change up um, uh, change up one thing on here, okay? So we can actually turn them off or hide, okay? But we can also go in and we can change this up to say mute. And if I run that now, notice here that we can see them all, but if I go through and I click on Oh, and actually we need to add in a couple things but our goal here is that if I click this okay it will it will change the coloration so right now we haven't put in any rules in here um, so for example this will be dulled out so right now this alpha is at 0.8 so we need to add in one more line or one more piece in here and let's say something like uh, muted alpha is equal to 0 0.2 Okay, and let me click out there. So we have this alpha is 0.8 and then a muted alpha, which is 0.2. So it'll really dim and turn down um, that plot. So now if we go through here and we click, notice uh, you can barely see now Google, maybe a better one to do is Apple as well. So notice here that it mutes them so then we can focus on the other um, aspects of the plot. And this is very, very useful to us when um, you start wanting to have these kind of interactive discussions with clients or um, also allowing people to kind of play and still see the data, but you don't want to fully hide the data. So again, uh, right now we've been talking about um, filling in and utilizing um, interactive legends. So if you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.